Bonjour from Paris. We've arrived in Paris. I'm here to thrift, vintage shop, eat lots of croissants, um, have a little solo trip to myself. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> so welcome to this thrift vlog. Come thrift with me in Paris. Join me on this adventure and stay tuned at the end for a little try on haul. But yeah, so I'm currently staying in Le Marais and I chose this uh, location specifically because of the vintage shops around here there's so many good ones around here so i basically wanted to be right in the center of it all i could just walk to all the places and yeah i'm so excited honestly so excited because the vintage shopping here is actually amazing it's like unparalleled because they've got an amazing range of things first of all from the 70s the 60s the 80s the 90s like literally everything colors yes and the prices are actually really 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 good comparatively like if you compare to like London and stuff so yeah and you'll find stuff that you will just like never find anywhere in the world so oh, I'm so excited I have a whole list of places that I want to get to um so let's get going okay day one thrifting so this was the best place I went to on this whole trip it's huge and they have an amazing range of jackets jeans knits and basically everything you could ever want and prices are really good too, ranging between the 10 to 40 euro mark on average. Next was Kelly Watch. They have a vintage section, but they are a store mainly that stock other brands. This one was a bit more expensive, but they did have a few unique pieces. Then I stopped for a bubble tea break and got this matcha drink, which was so good. And we're off, we're on the streets, the streets of Perry. Oh my God, this vintage store looks so good. I think I'm gonna have to go in here. I hope it's open. Wow, look at this. Dynasty vintage colors in there look epic. Should I go in now or should I go for lunch first? I'm here right now so I might as well just go in. The next day I went to Vintage Desire, which was again really affordable but a small selection of items. Then I stopped for a little croissant and coffee at this very Parisian spot. And after my caffeine fix, I popped into Free Piece Star, which I found to be alright, but not as curated with unique pieces as some of the other stores. And finally, I went to Hippie Market, which was quite expensive, but I did find a cute scarf in there. Hello friends, I am back. I've done all my thrifting for this trip. I'm leaving today, my Eurostar is in a few hours. Um, and I have to check out of this hotel, I mean this Airbnb, sadly. But um, first... First, before we do all of that, I'm going to give you my haul of everything that I got on this trip. Oh my god, honestly, such good stuff. Great prices. I was just so impressed, but I feel like I came with like such a high expectation and that expectation was met. It definitely was. Like I knew that I would be coming to like so many good things, so many good finds, amazing colours. Oh my god. Just like really unique pieces that you wouldn't find anywhere else in the world. So let's begin. So on the first day I went to two different places. The first place was Episode which turned out to be literally the best one that I've been to on this whole trip. I wasn't really allowed to film in there but I had I got like a quick shot of it. Yeah I was filming a little bit and then the girl was like you can't film so I was like okay cool. <laughs> um, it was only the best store but that's fine. So the first thing that I got was this jacket and I honestly am obsessed. It's basically a ski jacket and they had so many like ski snowboard gear kind of things and I feel like this is a really great winter jacket like you don't have to wear it to the snow you know you can make it work for the city life and I love the colors in it the green and the purple and then on the back it's like this and it's kind of like a bomber jacket style so it doesn't look like a super ski like super ski wear which I like um, you can easily pair it with jeans pair it with like a little tank top which is what I'm wearing right now this is probably not enough clothing for today <laughs> I'm definitely gonna wear a um, cardigan underneath this um, a few layers but yeah so this is the first thing great quality it's gonna last me a really long time a great amazing vintage unique piece so next I picked up a couple of silk shirts and honestly these are just 100% silk and they are in such amazing quality the colors are amazing so I've got this one in blue and then I also got this one in purple and like look at these colors together like so so pretty you see this one was 12 euros both of them were 12 euros which i think is amazing it's like honestly such a good price for this kind of level of quality so the next thing that i got was this jumper knits knits are just everywhere like in the vintage stores you can get every single color that you can ever imagine i got just this one in yellow because i thought it was a nice like 
pale, you know, pastel yellow, which I really like. I feel like this kind of color looks really nice with like a light wash jean. So next I picked up this leather blazer and oh my God, like just seriously, you're just so spoiled for choice in terms of like what you want. Like if you want a leather blazer, it's like, okay, here's a hundred. Like which one do you want? It's like different styles, different details. You know, oh my god, like this one has a, just the attention to detail is like actually insane. Like this on the collar, it's got like this pleating. I don't exactly know what this, what this is or what's going on here, but it's such a nice detail. Then we've got the same thing on the pockets. It's just amazing, honestly. This is such good quality. I know I'm going to get a really, really good wear out of it. The leather blazer that I've been wearing all the time in London was also vintage, just from Rain Vintage. And I've been getting so much use out of that one. So I'm excited to have a new one in the mix. This one's more of a soft leather um, than the one that I have. And I... I really like it, it's so comfortable, so easy to pair with so many different things. I love how vibrant this blue is. I love this kind of blue. I feel like it looks really nice against like darker skin tones. Um, it's like a very nice like cable knit kind of thing. Great quality, it's in good qual. And yeah, just another, you know, knit. So the final thing that I got from episode were these jeans, which I'm wearing right now. Look at these, they are so vintage. Um, so they basically don't have like the top bit which I think is really cool detail. It's very retro, very 90s. I feel like this is, you know, something that Destiny's child would wear. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I have seen a specific photo where they are wearing jeans that are kind of exactly like this. Okay, so the next store that I went to was Achille Watch. I didn't find as much stuff in there. It was basically a store with like other brands as well as like a vintage section. But the one thing that I found was this pair of pink pants. Honestly, the fit is incredible. It fits me so perfectly around the waist. And yeah, they were really, really long, so I already cut them. And I don't know if I'll, I, I might just leave them like this, like raw cut hem, I don't mind that. The only thing that I don't like about these is the material is kind of uncomfortable if you're wearing it or like all day. So I was wearing it from like morning till not, like very late at night. Okay, so the next place that I went to, this was on a different day. I went to Free Pea Star on Rue de Rivoli. They basically got two Free Pea Stars. I have been to both of them and I got stuff from both of them. So the first one is the Rivoli store. So I got this yellow cardigan. So I basically saw a Pinterest photo and I was inspired by that. So it was, it was kind of like a cardigan in this style. It's probably a bit more cropped than this, but you know, whatever. And jeans and I don't know what the shoes were, but it was just like a really nice like put together look. So I kind of wanted to recreate that. Um, and yeah, I just feel like, again, it's nice to wear it buttoned up. You can have the option or you can have it open. Great. We love a cardi. The color is insane of this one. Blazers. I actually haven't like, I haven't been wearing blazers in a long time. I just feel like my style has been really, really casual the last little while but maybe it's time to switch it around maybe i should start wearing suits should i start wearing suits just like every day <laughs> that would actually be amazing just monochromatic suits maybe that's that's a good video idea actually i'll wear i'll wear suits for a week just everywhere i go i feel like that would be kind of weird as well because like i'd go to like a casual i don't know restaurant or a casual lunch spot and just be in a suit i just feel like that would be kind of fun I don't know if this is a good idea because it's winter and I mean, it's fine. I can take a coat. Anyway, that was a real going off on a tangent. So back to this, how good is the color? Fully lined blazer. It's a good length. I didn't want it to be too long. It's not really an oversized fit. It's more of like just a regular fit. It's got shoulder pads, which I don't mind because it's quite fitted um, to my body. And yeah, it was only 10 euros. Hello, are you, are, you, are you joking? Like I just feel like even in Australia, which I think Melbourne has like really good prices at Savers. This will probably be at the most, I mean, at the, at the least, like $35, dollars $40. Um, and 10 euros is like $20. So this is such a good bargain, honestly. I'm gonna start wearing suits. The final thing that I got from the store that I just mentioned that I've already forgotten <laughs> um, was this. Okay, I know you might be thinking, what is this? I also thought the same thing because I don't actually know. I don't know if it's a dress, I don't know if it's like a nightgown, but basically I really, really, really love the print i just feel like this is such an insane print i am obsessed with it it's very 70s style and i basically want to get it made into a like a top and a skirt a little cord you know so i went to the second free piece start yesterday um i got i just picked up one thing they did have like a one euro section downstairs but honestly you have to be ready for that like you have to be ready mentally prepared physically prepared for the one euro section because it's just like a huge mountain of things you have to go through like sift through everything and there's like other people doing the same thing, like you should just like fight with them. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my God, I'd spent the whole day out. I was supposed to go to my macaron making class like right after. I was like, I just don't have the energy all the time to do this. So I just picked up something from like one of the racks. It wasn't one euro, sadly, it was 
10 euro, which I still think is good. Basically this jumper, how cool, how cool is it? Yeah, I like the detail of the different colors. I just feel like it looks really retro, really vintage, really fresh prints. And you know, that's what I'm all about. <laughs> so I went to Hippie Market, which um, I thought it was gonna be really really good. I've definitely been there before. Um, it's super expensive So it wasn't my favorite, but I did pick up this scarf for 12 euros lilac. We love it and it looks Perfect with my jacket. Okay, so that is everything that I thrifted from Paris I honestly had such a good time here. Make sure to watch my vlog which will be up after this next week i got up to so much fun stuff in paris honestly it was a little solo trip i needed time to myself if you can go away on a little adventure by yourself do it if you can come to paris even better do it so i'm really enjoying getting back into thrift content i hope you guys like it as well let me know in the comments and if you have any other video ideas or video requests then let me know i will also get to those and you can find me on instagram at depop tiktok and pinterest everything is at post and repeat and i'll see you all in my next video bye